coming up this week on Archer's Choice. Dude, I think we just got a monster. I still love this. Let me get the stock for you. Well, thank you. Hey, welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we are children of the corn. Children of the corn. In Iowa. In Iowa. That's right. This week we're heading out to Iowa, Iowa. Tales of the Hunt. Yes. We're going to go out there and have some fun. We have some fun. Gosh, this is actually a two part show, too. It we, is, and I'll tell you why. Action to show and share. Why? Be hush, hush, hush. The reason being is because Iowa has become really known as probably one of the premier states for. Really? For deer hunting. Is that because of all the corn? Lots of corn. Yeah. Hey, this week's Lucky Logo is Rocky. So you Head to want... toe, they keep me happy. So at the end of the show, we're going to tell you what to do with that. So watch for the Rocky, lo yep. Rocky Lucky Logo. Make you sneeze. Hey, anyways, let's get right into your hunt, okay? Because we got yes. lots of stuff to go in. Children this of the corn. corn's kind of thick. Watch us disappear. <laughs> Iowa. Land of the monster bucks. Don't kid yourself. They got lots of deer. And we're just the crew to go down there. You know, we're sitting in a stand in, in, in Iowa and, you know, you know, we got the decoy out and we had these, we had a couple of does and yearlings come through and these little yearlings are sitting there and they're checking it out and they're going back and forth trying to figure out what it is and they're saying, hey, how come this one ain't moving? What's up with this? Well, lo and behold, then all of a sudden, here comes another big doe. She's coming from our left and, well, I sent her to the Hush program. After 11, and we're gonna go get the arrow, check the blood, and she ran that away. She's gonna, she's going across. There she is, right there. That's a beautiful doe to take out of the herd, and most. Most importantly is, you know, this doe is going right back in to the, to the processing plant and it's going for the hush program. We hunters are feeding the needy. Thank you, Lord. She didn't suffer. She just came down here and went down. It's over. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of the Archer's Choice. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Good job on that doe. Thank you. You know, Iowa has a phenomenal program. It really called does. Called Hush. Help us stop hunger. That's right. Yep. And I think more states need to be doing that. And we're going to join Iowa DNR 
and they're going to actually explain all about it. Right, because I mean, we're out there, we're hunting, and why not, you know, share the benefits of the meat with people that are needy, that Absolutely. need it. Absolutely. That's right. Let's keep going over here. But did you get a doe yet? <laughs> not yet. I did. We've got a lot of quality deer in Iowa. Um, we think that a lot of that's due because we can manage it based on science. We're trying to knock the populations back to about the mid-1990s level. And what that means is, in order to do that, we've got to harvest does. Uh, for the last three years, Iowa has been among the most successful states. By the end of the season, we've had over 60% of our total harvest be antlerless deer. Now that's mostly does, but that's some uh, button bucks and some shed bucks and uh, uh, what have you. But by and large, we're being successful and we've got a great, simple donation program. When you shoot does in Iowa uh, or bucks, you can donate them. 90 different lockers across the state, doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, everybody who buys a deer license pays a dollar uh, and that goes to our Help Us Stop Hunger or HUSH program. Last year, uh, we were second in the nation only to Wisconsin in the number of donated deer. Uh, about 8,350 deer were donated last year. That fed uh, 1.6 million meals to Iowa's needy. We're pretty tickled about that as well. Uh, take it to any of 90 lockers. They're very well distributed around the state. We have a website that you can go to to find a locker in your area if you wish. IowaHush.com is where you can find the, the map distribution of the lockers. You can just drop it off the locker, you fill out a simple card, and they will take it from there. No cost to the hunter. Anytime that locker is open, they'll be happy to take it. So we've got the outlet. I mean, there's no reason not to keep shooting does. Uh, we can get that, that deer herd down to an acceptable level and maintain a trophy buck uh, herd, one of the best in North America. Well, we saw your doe. Well, right, absolutely, nailed it. it. Now it's my turn, watch what happens. Your turn. My turn. <laughs> We're walking out to the truck. Everything is packed away. All of a sudden, a doe jumps up out of the bed. Joe and I just stand there for a second. We look at her. We're very slowly trying to squat down on the ground. She's just kind of looking around. Joe and I were like, there's no way this isn't going to happen, is it? Well, we got down on the ground. We got my release out. Joe got the camera back up. I got the sling off my bow. A wild white-tailed doe in Iowa on the ground on the way out. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. <laughs> Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. There are a lot of different smartphones out there, and almost everyone has one that has internet capabilities on it. There are also a lot of applications on those smartphones that you can use to help you while you're hunting. My favorite is one of the weather ones, where I can click on there before I go out to the stand, find out the wind direction. I can see if the barometric pressure is falling or rising. I can even find out what time the sun rises and sun sets to help me out to make sure that I'm out there at legal shooting times. This is one of the best things that I love about my phone. It drives Ralph crazy that I'm on it all the time. But hey, that's your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week. Hey, welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, yep. let's continue on with my hunt, shall we? Yeah, might as well, but also. Yeah. Big, big CG, Chris Griffin from Realtree is joining us with Tales of the Hunt, and yep. well, he sees what Iowa's all about. Absolutely. So do we. Woo, woo. Yeah, I, I like Iowa. Mm -hmm. You like Iowa? I do like Iowa. When I released that arrow, the first thing in my mind went, I might have hit her a hair forward. So we got up, we watched her run off, we get over to where she was standing, and I was kind of like, oh, it might have been forward. And I looked down, and there was a trail of blood everywhere. Spitfire Edge, oh my gosh, what damage it did. We're just getting ready to look at the shot before we go any further. And I'm standing here.
the story is don't take off your release when you get out of the tree stand. Joe and I, this morning we had a doe, a button buck, and a little buck come by us. And we're out here trying to get a mature buck and doing some doe management. On our way out, kicked up this doe here. She jumped up out of her bed. We squatted down. Joe had to get my release out of my bag. Never put my wireless mic back on. And I can't believe that I had the opportunity to shoot this doe at 12 yards on the ground on the way out. That, my heart was racing. I started shaking. And then when I saw the, the blood trail coming up here, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Let's get her back out. It's gonna stay like in the 60s today, I think, lower 60s. So we need to get her out, get her to the processing plant for the hush program. For the hush program, and uh, and away we go. What a great day! <laughs> My vixen baby. Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Good yeah. to see you. Bad boy. Good. Yeah, see, you. Yeah, we took care of you. Yeah, yeah you you welcome to Iowa, guys. Good to be here. Hun's about relationships too, you know, and the camaraderie around camp and. Sharing it with with Chris Griffin, Brad Shore, Cam, Cameron Haynes, you know, from out west, and just all of us, you know, our, our whole crew from the office, and you know, Vicky and I, and it just tales of the hunt. The guy, I mean, we just that's what makes this a success, and you know, to be there and and be there at the prime time, you never know what's going to come down that trail in Iowa. Oh, good God! Uh -huh. Oh my Lord, who is that? Uh, November 10th here in Iowa with Ralph and Vicky from Archer's Choice Hunt with Aaron Volkmar and Tales of the Hunt. It's the coolest morning we've had since we got here. We've seen some really good block bucks in this block of timber with a fresh cut cornfield here just below us. So we're going to do a little rattling, sit tight. Should see a bunch of deer this morning. See anything? It's about a uh, quarter of ten. We've had a really good morning. Shot a really nice mature doe down here. We're gonna go recover her, but we're gonna try to be quiet. We're gonna try to slip in, get this doe, get out of here, get back in here this afternoon. So let's go get her. Tell you what, this old Georgia boy's not used to seeing the, the bodies on these deer like they are up here in the Midwest. Really nice mature doe. We decided to go ahead and take her this morning to support the uh, hush program here in Iowa. Don't touch that remote, because Realtree's Chris Griffin will see if he could use two tags on his Iowa trip. It's uh, November 11th. It's our last afternoon to hunt here in Iowa with Aaron Boltmar. 
a lot of good deer been seen running this area. Uh, just a bunch of travel corridors, so we're going to see, sit tight and uh, hope for the last evening will be all we need. Can you believe this? Can you believe it, dude? That is a freaking monster. Yeah. I'm not believing it. Can you believe this? Can you believe this, brother? Gary, he ain't going nowhere, brother. All right. It's uh, just past shooting light, and about 15, 20 minutes ago, we rattled in a, a big buck. We don't, we're not sure how big. <clears throat> happened pretty fast. He came in at 25 yards, made the shot. We watched him fall over dead in the creek down here, so the tracking job should be pretty easy. So we're gonna head down there and take a good look at him. So he's a good buck. Hang on. Uh, I gotta get him. Uh, look at this. We hit the horns together and I could hear something come through the CRP and I looked up and he was coming right into the edge of the of the tree line, so <clears throat> he came straight into the horns. I didn't have time to even range it. We figured him about 25 yards and we watched him fall dead right here in the creek. But I tell you what, we've had a heck of a week. We have seen some big bucks. We've seen a, a really big 12-pointer about the second day in. We saw a giant 10-pointer this morning. I want to take the time to <clears throat> thank Ralph and Vicky. Sean Cirillo and Archer's Choice for inviting me up here. I want to thank Aaron Voltmar, Tales of the Hunt, the Outfitter in the state of Iowa uh, for allowing me to come up here. It's been a special week. We took a doe yesterday for the Hush program here in Iowa to feed the hungry and this big guy this afternoon. So, hey, I'm going back to Georgia, one happy hunter. Seriously, the Hush program out in Iowa is amazing and, and it's a great It absolutely, states, provinces, everybody needs to learn. You know, fly on your head, sorry. Everyone could take, you know, something from that, from the Hush program. You know, right. all the states can. You know, it, 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 once again, it's showing sportsmen and women what we do, what everybody does right. for, for everyone out there. That's right. If you happen to see the Rocky Lucky logo. Cover me on. up head to toe. Where's my thermocell? <laughs> I got another one there. Sorry. You need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, and someone's going to win some great stuff head to toe from Rocky. Yes, head yes, to so toe. So we'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's Choice, but now you need to go chop some wood for winter time.